Hey guys, this is Eddie. Welcome to another maths tutorial. Uh, today I want to talk about bearings, which uh, which is a quite important part of maths uh, because a lot of navigation type questions will require you to understand bearings and uh, you'll also learn to use trigonometry with bearing type questions. So there are two different types of bearings that you could be given in a question. The first type is uh, compass bearings compass bearings and the second type is true bearing and uh, to start off I will talk about compass bearing first so compass bearings uh, is based on the concept that we have a north, uh, east, south and west okay so every direction from the origin which is here every direction from the origin uh, can be defined using uh, one of these using either the north or the south first so for example starting from the origin let's say I want to travel in this direction here now let's say I have measured this angle here to be uh, 30 degrees then this direction from the origin is then called um, north 30 degrees east so that's how you label this direction so when I'm when I say that I'm traveling uh, at a bearing or at a compass bearing of north 30 degrees east that's the direction I'm traveling in so let's say I'm traveling in this direction here oops hang on a second just trying to draw a straight line let's say I'm traveling in this direction here and this angle here is uh, 40 degrees then the name that I give to this direction is called south 40 degrees west because the angle 40 degrees is created from the south towards the west now what if I have an angle like this one and uh, what if this angle here is uh, 20 degrees how should I name uh, this this direction well if this angle here is 20 degrees then this angle here must be 70 degrees because the angle between north and west must be 90 degrees because it's a right angle so this direction is then called north 70 degrees west so basically every direction has to start with either north or south okay uh, last one so for example this direction here um, this direction here let's say I have uh, 15 degrees here so how big is this angle must be 90 minus 15 which is uh, 75 degrees so this angle this direction is therefore called south 75 degrees east right every direction has to start with either north or south and then the angle uh, and then either east or west okay let's talk about true bearing which is uh, easier than compass bearing because everything is measured from the north 
So let's say I have uh, a person traveling this angle. Um, let's say this is uh, 70 degrees. So the bearing of this direction will just be 0, 070 degrees true. Now what if they travel in this direction? Uh, then we have to measure the angle from the beginning so from the beginning here all the way around to here so let's say if this angle alone on its own is 20 degrees uh, from the north to the south is 180 Oops. so this angle here will be uh, 180 plus 20 which is 200 degrees true now what if we have an angle like this and let's say this angle here is 30 degrees well, the direction will therefore be 360, which is the whole revolution from the north all the way around to the north again, minus 30, which will be 330 degrees. Okay, thanks for watching the bearings uh, tutorial. Hopefully you have a better understanding of bearings after watching this. I'll see you next time.